Okay, is this all the way near the end? There, let's play it from there. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 13, Riku. In today's episode, in today's episode, we set out we reviewed that we had saw a great video on uh, why music theory has no rules. <laughs> and the idea was, if you know some music theory, its real value is helping you get your ideas, like it shows up here, how to make your ideas better, good, different, longer, how do you get away with stuff. And it's really a cookbook with recipes that you can change at will and a toolbox of techniques. It's recipes, not rules, systems and procedures. So we, we like that one a lot. So in our words, you go out, you, you experiment and you find new ways. In the end though, in the end, in the end, you put the strength back in. It's like building a bridge that if other people have to rely on, if, if you're counting on other people to listen to it or be entertained by it or inspired by it or drive a car over it, then, 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 then you go back and say, okay, what else do I need to do? So today we decided to keep working with our animation. You just saw that. Um, we wanted to have the four corners for the four front, left, front, right, rear, left, rear, right stereo effects. To do that, we had to come back to our tetratonic composition and uh, add the backbone, add the polyphon, which we did here, which sounds a little bit like this. So then what we did to feed the animation is we did our usual thing where we muted everything except one part at a time and then we exported it as an mp3 file. Then we went into our Reaper, Reaper here, and you can hear that same thing, and we ran it through the special effects processor and made it be front left. So here's what that sounds like here here, which is on the left. And then th the next part we ran through to be on the right. And then the first cadence is quote unquote in the rear left. And if you put those two together, they still both sound on the left. And anyway, we did that for all four parts. Then, then, then we went into our animation tool and we fiddled around with this quite a bit because we're still kind of not exactly happy with what we've got here. What we were trying to do was have things where, you know, we do have it. It is the case. It is the case. That the bottom left is driving the bottom left image. And we can prove that just by, um, muting everything and show that if we want to prove that the rest is going there, so the, the right rear, we'll, we'll let that one show here. So that's the left. And we're already, we're already realizing 
saying that this should have been should have been moved a little bit or not. Like that. Is that how it's supposed to be? Left. And right, and so forth. So we spent a lot of time fiddling with that, guys. So what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is something. I think what we're going to do is put this back to where it should be. and then play it for you. And show everything. This is the full glory, glory animation. So we'll rewind it and we'll play it and then that'll take us home. Except We need to not mute everything. We need to let it all through. Let it all through. trippy 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 also before we rewind up let's just re-export that movie again since we fixed it up a little bit so that concludes today's stream next time our ideas are uh, maybe make the left right separation separation stronger for the top two parts of part, parts of the composition because basically they just sound like they're both banging in our ears and part of that is because they're they're unison notes um, another way to do to, to maybe fiddle that would be uh, make some additions and dynamic changes and, and we do we did identify some some part additions such as uh, uh, eg passing notes passing note line and dynamic changes eg crescendo day crescendo Offsetting, offsetting, so that one side will get louder, and as the other side gets softer, and then it'll be easier to hopefully hear a difference between left and right. And our good old friend to be determined. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout outs to another viewer, TV, and yellow for their questions and dropping by. Thank you. We appreciate it when people drop by. And we'll try to figure out how to show timestamps on our chat so we can figure out when and what and where happened. So take care. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>